Hello and welcome back to Battle Plan, a podcast focused on spiritual warfare. I'm Steve Hemphill. Our website is active-faith.org. We invite you to use the hashtag, hashtag stake the land. My email is stevehemphill1 at me.com. In our last episode, we talked about two men who doubted their wife's faithfulness. Today, we are covering 25 territorial demons in Scripture. Colossians 1.16 NLT says, God created everything in the heavenly realms and on earth. He made things we can see and the things we can't see. The NIV says in that same verse, it calls them um, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. Jude verse 6 says, and I remind you of the angels who did not stay within the limits of authority God gave them, but left the place where they belong. And I would say angels that left the place they belong and followed Satan in rebellion are now called demons. Most people have uh, never noticed that many demons are actually named in scripture, and probably even fewer folks know that each is listed as having a dominion or responsibility over a territorial domain. This is what we're going to unveil today. Hold on for the ride. Let me start uh, with Adramalek and Anamalek. They were over Sepharvim, Assyria, uh, that same area. And then Nibhaz was over the Avites and Gaza, 2 Kings 17.31. All those are named in 2 Kings 17.31. Gaza, we still have the Gaza Strip, so we know where that is. Ammon was over Thebes and Egypt, Jeremiah 46, 25. Asheroth was over Canaan, Babylon, 1 Kings 11, 5. When I say Canaan, Babylon, I mean Canaan and Babylon are both listed there. Ashima was over Hamath, and Nergal was over Cutha, 2 Kings 17, verse 30. Baal was uh, one of the rulers over Canaan, 2 Kings 17, 16. Baal Zebub was over Ekron, that's a city, 2 Kings 1, 16. Baal and Marduk were also over Babylon, Jeremiah 50, verse 2. Barith was over Shechem, Judges 9, 46. Chemosh was in Moab, 1 Kings 11, verse 7. Dagon was in Ashdod, 1 Samuel 5, verse 2. We'll talk about him in a later episode where the statue Dagon had his head fall off and fall before the Ark of the Covenant when it had been captured by the Philistines. Uh, K1 and uh, Sakuth were in the wilderness area, Amos 5, verse 26. Molech was in the Ammonite people and Topeth. Uh, 2 Kings 23, 13. Nisroch was in Assyria, 2 Kings 19, 37. The queen of heaven was in the land of Israel, Jeremiah 44, 17. Rephon was over Egypt, Acts 7, 43. Uh, Remanon was in Aramea, 2 Kings 5, 18. There are also two spirit princes called a spirit prince, not called by name other than just spirit prince, that are mentioned in Daniel 10, verse 20. And they were in Persia and Greece, respectively. And by the way, they're mentioned in that chapter as being in line to fight a battle with God's angels successively, Persia first and Greece second. And note that in human history, the Greek empire followed the Persian empire. And I'm just saying. Uh, Succoth Benath was in Babylon, 2 Kings 17.30. And finally, Tartak was uh, over the Avite and Samaria people, 2 Kings 17.31. The most surprising thing, I guess, I noticed as I put, as I, uh, put this list together was there were no unassigned demons, just like a demon at large. There were none of those. They all had a designated area. I found that fascinating. Sometimes it was a city, sometimes a nation, sometimes a people, but they all had a designated area. Even the uh, head demon, Satan, uh, has, is designated as God of this world in the New Testament. 
Remember also from the angelic side that churches in the first few chapters of Revelation all had angels assigned to them too. One example is Ephesus. Write this to the angel of the church in Ephesus. So that's Revelation 2, verse 1, New Century. We'll talk more about the battle between the faithful angel and fallen angels, which I believe are demons, in future episodes. Meanwhile, in light of today's thoughts, let me suggest that part of your personal battle plan might be to look up some of these references and notice related passages that help unveil this epic battle that's taking place in the unseen world and ask God to show you your purpose in this spiritual war. What can you do for the kingdom? You can visit active-faith.org if you like, and we'll see you next time on Battle Plan, where we're going to cover a Nissan service lady's dream that allowed her to uh, completely quit uh, uh, being a drug addict, just one dream. Can't wait to share that episode with you next time. I'm going to remind you to keep praying because prayer works. God loves you, and I love you. Have a great day.